Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just want to start off by saying Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope everyone out there had a very wonderful and safe holiday. Cheers to you guys. All right. So, today's going to be a lot of fun for me. Today's my very first time doing a round robin review. So I just want to say I am truly grateful and blessed to be able to be a part of this crew. Um, if you guys are not familiar with the three other members of the Round Robin, we have Mr. Paul LaPierre, a.k.a. Uh, Dumbledoreable. We have Kevin Pope, a.k.a. Blue Collar Bearded. And then we have Mr. Stephen Benos, a.k.a. The Bearded Chief. So if you guys are not familiar with them, Please feel free to check them out on YouTube. They are great, great dudes. I am just absolutely blown away for the fact that they allowed me to be a part of this. Thank you guys. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. So, today we are talking about a company out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We are talking about Go Bearded. All right. So this is my first time ever experiencing and trying Go Bearded. The owner's name is Mr. Thomas Kissinger. So let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? First up, we have Acadian Ascent. All right, let's get this all shook up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anyways, sorry about that. So I really enjoyed both of these. Now the oil itself is a medium viscosity. The ingredients are argan oil, jojoba oil, apricot kernel oil, meadow foam seed oil, avocado oil, and hemp seed oil. Really great ingredients. So Acadian Ascent is tobacco absolute, honey, bergamot, vanilla, cardamom, cassia, and black pepper. So, out of this one, I do get some of that tobacco, a little bit of that sweetness from the honey. The bergamot, vanilla, cardamom, cassia, and black pepper all kind of blend together. And so, nothing wrong with that, but it smells really, really good. I just didn't pick up, like, every little thing, you know, even individually as far as, like, maybe on the back end. Everything is just really, really subtly, you know, blended together. Out of the two, Acadian Ascent was probably my favorite. But yeah, it, it's a super great oil. Um, it lasted between four and six hours for me. Again, it wasn't a very, you know, in-your-face, you know, very powerful, overbearing scent. Both of these are actually very subtle, you know, as far as scent goes. It wasn't, you know, something that I smelled all day, but it was really enjoyable. So, next on our list, we have Bayou Bigfoot. Shake this one up. All right. So this one kind of reminded me of just being out in like the woods. So this one is silk, excuse me, silver birch leaves, clementine peels, geranium, vetiver, sandalwood, and sequoia wood. So this one is definitely just very woodsy to me. You know, it just makes me feel like I'm out in just a wooded area. You know, walking, you know, along a path or maybe um, hiking or something like that. You know, getting kind of all of that outdoorsy, you know, sense that as they, you know, the wind kind of blows in your face. You know, everything is just kind of coming at you. Um, I do get a little bit of that clementine peel. It is a little on the citrusy side, but mainly a very woodsy, citrusy scent. Very enjoyable. Mm. Yeah, I really enjoyed Bayou Bigfoot. I will say, though, Acadian Ascent, my wife preferred that one, and actually so did I. 
So, the one thing I will say, I do wish that he would put like the scent profile on the actual bottle. That was just the one thing that I, I don't really like to have to go back into someone's website and look for the scent profile. I would rather have it, you know, somewheres on the bottle. That's just my own constructive criticism. That's just my preference. A one ounce oil will run you $18.99. Now, in my opinion, that's about market average. A one ounce oil, in my opinion, can go anywhere from about 15 to about 20. And then you'll have some of those companies that will kind of go above that between like 20 and 24. Um, but generally speaking, $18.99 for a one ounce oil, pretty market average. So if you guys have not tried Go Bearded yet, I would definitely highly suggest it. Would love to hear your guys' feedback. And yeah, if you guys haven't checked out my other three brothers for the Round Robin crew, I would definitely suggest that you guys go and check their channels out and give them a subscribe, check them out. Great dudes. So anyways, guys, that's my Round Robin review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Would love to hear your guys' feedback. And yeah, until next video, guys, I'll check you guys later.